now we are uh, have connected the panel to the switch and we are ready to uh, start using the panel. But uh, before we can use it for our application, we have to have the same firmware in the panel as we have in our panel builder. So to do that, we uh, will download a new firmware to the panel. And the first thing to do is to uh, open the back of the panel, move the switch uh, to to on. After a, a boot, the panel will be ready to, to download new firmware. So what we have to do also is to disconnect the power and connect the power and then the panel automatically boots, but in a mode that uh, makes it possible to download firmware. And what you can see here is that the status uh, says dip switch off, on, off, and that's what it should be. So if you have that, you, are, you have made the panel ready for, for downloading firmware. And then for downloading the firmware, there is a special piece of software included on the CD that you need to do that. So you, have, you go into the, on the CD, you go into the bin folder and you go into um, extras. And in extras, there is a firmware folder and then you select the panel 800 and then you select the right version and then you can see that there is an IML folder. You double click on the IML folder and you get into the image loader. And here you can see that the first step we have already taken care of, putting the dip switch in the right position and restarted the panel. We press next and in the next step here we can see that the IP address and uh, subnet mask that you should put, we would like to have in the panel after we have loaded the firmware. And for the panel to be able to talk to the controller, it has to be on the same network. So we put it uh, onto the 172.16.4.160, um, for instance. And our subnet mask has to be 255, 255, 255, 252, just in the same way as for the compact HMI and the AC800M. And we press next. And when we press next, we can see uh, that we have a selector box where we can select operator terminal. And if we click on that, we can see the MAC address of the panel that we would like to download firmware to. And if we want, we can also look at the panel here and see that we have the, the same MAC address is di displayed on the panel. And then we press upgrade. And now the panel is receiving the new firmware from the PC. And this takes us uh, some time, so we can uh, wait for that. So what is happening is that we first download the firmware and then we write this to the flash memory in the panel. So when we have done this, this is uh, safely stored in the panel. So next time it will load the new firmware if you power off and power on again. And what, as you can see, I mean, we can see the progress on the panel screen as we are downloading and, and, and starting up with the new, new firmware. One thing that is important to notice when you make a firmware upgrade of the panel is that you're not allowed to do an, a downgrade of the firmware to any version that is less than the version that you had on the panel when you uh, got it delivered first time. So you always have to go versions up from that level. You cannot downgrade from the version that you got in the panel when you, when you bought it. Okay, now we can see that the upgrade is complete on the PC and we are asked do we want to upgrade another terminal, in this case we say no. Next step we have to do is that we have to go to the panel, we have to uh, switch back the dip switch to the normal mode, close and then uh, disconnect the power and connect the power again. And by doing that, the panel is now uh, loading uh, with the new firmware. 